Time for our ETF spotlight. Dominic Chu back at HQ looking at the tech sector today with Amazon tonight. Hey, Dom. Hey, what's going on? I mean, what's going on right now is Facebook shares certainly dragging down the S&P 500 technology sector. You can see they're off by far and away the best, worst performing sector, off one and a half percent right now. We want to turn our attention to what's happening now with Facebook, right? Facebook is already working its way through a lot of the markets. And then Amazon, now many traders are watching and turning their attention to what could happen with Amazon.com shares because it is going to report its quarterly results after today's closing bell. Amazon stock already hit a record high in trading yesterday. It's now also trading in a similar trading setup to what we talked about yesterday with Facebook. A lot of that upside momentum that has pushed that stock well above where it trades relative to its medium and longer term average prices. Now, as we take a look yesterday at Facebook and some of the ETFs with exposure there. We figured we wanted to take a look at some of the exchange traded funds that have a lot of exposure to Amazon as well. So a lot of index related ETFs already track this kind of exposure. The PowerShares QQQ, we noted that yesterday, tracks the NASDAQ 100 large cap index, currently has around right now a 10% weighting in shares of Amazon.com. So that could be a big mover if Amazon is volatile. Also the Fidelity MSCI Consumer Discretionary ETF, ticker FDIS, has around 600 million in assets. It carries a 20% weighting in Amazon shares, so it could move a lot if Amazon does. The $810 million iShares U.S. Consumer Services ETF, that ticker IYC, has a 21% weighting there. And we're going to end on one of the bigger sector ETFs out there, the Spider Consumer Discretionary Fund, ticker XLY. We reference it often. It's got nearly one quarter of that fund in Amazon.com. So, Sarah, as we talk about Facebook and its effects on ETFs today, Amazon shares, if they do get volatile, could have a huge effect on some of these exchange-traded funds. Back over to you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.